loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be doing a quick, simple Diwali glam. I know not everyone wants to go all out um, just in general, but especially this year, especially me. And I think that's why I'm doing it. Um, but if you're someone that doesn't want to go all out with your makeup and the hair and jewelry, I mean, I just uh, waved my hair and I'm gonna show you how I did this look. And I put some jewelry, this is from Aheli on from Amazon um, and it just creates this most simple beautiful glam I know like this year has been really tough but there's just this, these little things that we can do on Diwali just to make it uh, that much better and even given the circumstances I really do hope you guys have a lovely Diwali I just wish all of you and your family many blessings this year full of light and um, prosperity and good health I know this year has been tough it's been tough guys okay it has been tough but this Diwali, I feel like is a way to, um, it's just even more special because it's that light, you know, in this kind of world we're living in right now. Just spend lots of time with your family and if you are not with your family, you can't be with them, there's definitely, try and Zoom, FaceTime. I know it's not the same, but these little things can definitely help. I can't forget to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Deep Shika Verma. Thank you so much for always commenting and showing support on my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Or you can just leave a nice comment. So yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering and we'll jump straight into the tutorial. I've already put some gel, got to be gel on my brows. And I'm just going to use some of my Fenty Beauty Brow and VMP brow mvp it's so weird my speech is so slurred recently i don't know what it is but when i look back and I edit my videos i've noticed it i'm just gonna lightly fill in any like sparse areas oh my little sky please So obviously with everything that's going on at the moment, some of you might not want to go all out with the jewelry and the outfits and the makeup this year for Diwali. So I thought I'd give like a more toned down look. I'm literally just wearing a crop top that I got from Zara, some jewelry. And what you could do is put a shawl like just over your crop top. Um, if you're indoors, I mean, you'll be, you'll be a bit cold um, if you're outside, but do you know, I just thought I'd do something a bit more laid back. But today's focus is mostly going to be on the face because I really want to try this Huda Beauty palette. And can we take a moment to appreciate this packaging? Like, I really like this effect. So I'm happy with my brows. I actually really prefer my brows when I do the gel because it makes the hairs go up. Maybe I should try brow lamination, but I'm too scared that I'll look like crazy, crazy, like with sticking up brows. I don't know. I'm just going to put some Tarte Shape Tape on my lids. I'm gonna go very simple with this look and I'm gonna start off with some of this shade right here. And I'm just gonna buff this into the crease just to create a slight kind of shadow. I want this look to look really effortless. I'm now gonna take this shade right here. This is such a pretty shade, oh my God. I'm literally just gonna put this all over okay that shade is so so gorgeous it applied beautifully and now i'm gonna use this shade right here which is like a sparkly deep gold Okay, now I'm going to take this dark brown shade. I'm going to take a really thin brush and we're really going to push this into the lash line. I might just wet it a little bit. I'm really buffing this into the outer corner. So far, I'm really pleased with the way this is like showing up on my lid. 
I'm not gonna lie, out of all the Huda Beauty palettes, I definitely prefer the bigger ones compared to the Obsessions palette because I just feel like the shades show up way more intense and pigmented on me when I use the larger palettes. But with this one, it's actually like the large palette. Like it's super pigmented, very glittery. I think I did also like the medium nude Obsessions palette as well. But there's just some that don't really work on me. When I saw this Huda Beauty palette, I literally just wanted to do like an effortless gold look like this. And it's not just like any gold, it's like that deep burnt gold shade. I don't know, it's so pretty guys. My camera is not even picking it up properly. Um, I'm gonna use the Legit Lashes Mascara, which is like my go-to right now. It's so good guys. I'm not gonna be wearing any lashes today, so. I really wanted that oomph in me lashes. Look how that just... By the way, I did watch um, the end of the effing world on Netflix. I'm not going to curse on it because I don't want to get monetized. But honestly, season two was so good. I felt like I needed to watch season one again, but I actually didn't. You just watched a recap and you just remember what happened. And the way it was filmed and everything, I just loved everything about it. It was so good. I would probably rate it like an 8 out of 10. Curl and length side now. Just gonna remove some of this fallout. I'm gonna use some of this Cyrene Aqua Intense Cream, which was kind of gifted to me. I love a good moisturizer and this feels very hydrating. It's my first time trying that moisturizer and it feels very nice like this is how i like my moisturizers to feel it's very hydrating but it's not like oily moisturizing it's like watery moisturizing i don't know how to explain it next i'm going to use the professional hydrate primer because this has a bit more of a smoothing effect like i kind of need that on my nose like the pores are coming through so next up i'm going to be using the huda beauty dulce so next up, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Dulce de Leche. foundation just applied beautifully just gonna use my trusty old tarte shape tape concealer in a shade tan sand i'm just setting my eyes with some Baking powder, honestly, when you press it with a damp beauty blender, it just gives such a flawless finish under the eyes. I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower in the shade yellow. I'm not even gonna like dust it off, I'm just literally pressing it into the skin. Then I'm gonna use this Beauty Bay Bronzer in Caramel. I've really been liking this, especially the shade. Bronzing the edges of my nose and like underneath here as well. And I'm going to use this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette in the shade Bronze Sands Edition. And I'm going to use the blush here. Then I'm going to use this highlighter here as well. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, with the state I've been, literally pyjamas and no makeup every single day, it feels good to put a bit of makeup on, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use some of that first shade that we use in the crease from the palette, just under the eyes. Then I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Life Liner, and I'm going to use the crayon side. Now, of course, we can't forget any mascara.
Just gonna set my face with some of the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face, which smells so strong, but it's so good. Please tell me why there's mascara on my under eye. It's okay, we'll get rid of it. Come through skin, come through. For lip line, I'm gonna use my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cork. I'm actually not that great at lining my lips. I'm filming late in the evening, so everyone's downstairs in the kitchen and I apologize in advance if there's a lot of noise, but I can't help it, I can't help it. Then I'm gonna use the, the Shout Loud Satin Lipsticks by NYX. Wow, this formula. It's definitely thicker than I thought it would be. It smells like a drumstick, lolly. I'm gonna top it off with some NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Madeline. Oh my God, guys, look at this beautiful look. It's so simple, but so glam at the same time. This peach, oh my God, I think I found a new favorite lip combo, like, and plus it's mostly affordable. Like I just can't find anything as good as my MAC cork. I know I need to try some more Morphe lip liners. The, oh my God, I really wanna try the Gen Jamie Genevieve makeup collection. I might actually purchase some bits from there, but her lip liners look bomb. But yeah, definitely love this kind of lip combo that I've tried out today. And I primped my hair and I'm kind of digging it. It's a shame I'm not going anywhere. Wow why you gotta do this you know i'm coming to a point where i want to get back into the routine i want i need to go back into the office get somewhat of a routine back in place because you, your girl has put weight on and i'm trying to get back on track again and i'm totally fine about that like it's disappointing but i'm totally fine with it my like it's just my body like that's just the way it is and I've, i'm okay with that all you have to do as a human being is just get back on track just get back on it and don't bring yourself down about it yeah i just miss going out restaurants eating out i mean i mostly miss that but i just miss i just want to go to eat so many places like dishum wagamama but i couldn't go out with my family especially my mum because of her health so i can't wait till everything get back to normal anyways i'm gonna stop blabbering i really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial it's so simple but honestly Huda beauty products are bomb i don't care what anyone says um there are some products that are not my fave like I've, I've had plenty of like products that were given to me like the metallic lipsticks that I really don't like Some of the obsessions palette I didn't really like but this foundation you can't fault it Honestly and this palette It's beautiful <laughs>